Welcome to Kitty Craze, where we discuss all things kitty. So today's topic is pH balance. Okay, so I don't want to make this a long video. I just kind of want to get the tips and tricks and whatever to help you balance your pH balance. Let me put my glasses on, okay? Start by saying, you got to understand your pH balance. pH balance is genetic. I have to constantly remind you guys, pH balance is genetic. So what works for you may not work for her. What works for her may not work for you. So you have to find your pH balance and, you know, work around that. So the first topic is food, okay? Let's all come together and cut out the sodas. Let's cut out the juice. Uh, let's cut out the spicy foods, okay? Sodas and juices, like, they're just packed with so much sugar. Candida, which is the bacteria from yeast, loves sugar okay limit your juice limit your soda i i would just say stop drinking it all together but that's not practical for some people it's okay every now and then but do not make it a regular thing because that throws off your ph balance what you do want to add to your diet is okra water drink that once a week every single week if you want to know how to make okra water go on my instagram fresh holistics and i do have a video showing you how to make okra water. Add vitamin C to your diet. Oranges, grapefruits. Um, you can take vitamin C supplements. Vitamin C, vitamin C. Lemongrass is really good for balancing your pH. Um, lemongrass gets rid of uh, bacteria. It gets rid of yeast. So yes, drink the lemongrass tea every single week. Uh, lemongrass tea is really good for a lot of things within the vagina. You can incorporate that to balance your pH. The next topic, sex. So sex is a big thing that can uh, throw off your pH balance because sperm is unknown to the vagina. It's an unknown bacteria to the vagina. So every time somebody nuts in you, your body is going to attack those sperm cells. So it may just throw your pH balance off because it's unknown to the vagina. Okay, things happen during sex. Okay, let's be real, okay? <laughs> Not every time you're gonna be like, you're, you know, sometimes he may just accidentally come inside you. <sighs> so when someone nuts in you, just make sure you do something the next day to clean that out of your body. Drink a lot of water, go pee afterwards. Keep boric acid su uh, suppositories inside your house so that when that does happen, you can just, after, after that happens, you go and put a boric acid suppository inside of your vagina and let it clean it out. And also, when you're having sex, make sure that everybody's clean. Make sure he takes a shower and make sure, you know, he's not coming home from work and just sticking it in. Um, that's going to throw you all the way off. If you have a dirty man, take a shower first. Take, there is things you can do to balance your pH inside the store, like products. But like I said, that goes back to understanding your pH balance. You see a lot of videos on here of women telling you to get these yoni washes, blah, blah, blah. But sometimes that does not work for everybody. If you are looking for yoni washes, make sure the ingredients are natural. Um, you don't need all these different artificial ingredients to wash your vagina. You do not. Honorable mentions. Let me just say, let your vagina breathe. You don't have to wear panties all the time because I don't. Wear cotton panties. You can wear silk. Um, I wear silk lace. But make sure most of your panties, most of the time, are cotton. When you're washing your vagina, I don't care what yoni wash you have, do not put it inside of your lips, do it on the outside. And with these um, erotica washes or stuff that enhances your sex drive, um, yoni washes, make sure you just wa you lift up your clitoral hood and just wash the clitoris with the uh, yoni wash. Be very mindful. When you're taking a bath and you put on Dr. Bronner's or whatever you wash with, Make sure you have like an extra rag in the um, bathroom so you can put the rag in between your legs because when you're washing, that those suds is going down and then sometimes it will slip the ass rag. Listen, keep a rag, put that rag in between, you know, you know. Wash the outside of your vagina and your body so the suds won't get in there and ruin your whole pH balance. So if you're using toys, the rose toy, dildos, vibrators, you know, you know how we get it. Any of those, make sure you're cleaning the toys after every use. Apple cider vinegar is also great for balancing. You 
can pour a cap full inside of your water every single day and just keep that up. You could also take a bath in apple cider vinegar, about a cap full. And you can also wash your yoni with apple cider vinegar, but you have to only wash the clitoris with this apple cider vinegar. No, it will not burn. <laughs> and make sure you wash thoroughly so you don't leave that apple cider vinegar smell on your vagina. Thank you guys so much for watching my third video. Um, Kitty Craze is growing very quickly. I appreciate your support, I really, really do.